Hey, not again. See, I said this uh, village life wasn't easy. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, guess what? Today we're going to plant strawberries. Now, I was told about this great idea of a different style of doing it, and I thought we've got to try it. So I'm going to show you that today. Got my pipes here. Got my strawberries. And we've got some really interesting strawberries actually as well. Pine berries and cherry berries. I'm going to try them as well. So let's get started on that. So I know that this pipe is one meter. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little dot about 10 centimeters from the edge. And then I'm going to measure every 20 centimeters. So that'll be from center to center. And then we'll get about five or six. We're going to see how many. So we go from there, another 20 centimeters. From there another 20 centimeters, from there another 20 centimeters, and then finally the last one, another 20. So one, two, three, four, five. So we've got five in one. Then I'm gonna do that with all of these. Then with this circular cutter, which is about 90 millimeters, about nine centimeters then across. Um, I'm going to cut this in the PVC. This is any kind of, fits on all kinds of drills and things like that. So I'm going to use that to drill a hole through, nice circular hole. This is how I seen them doing it on YouTube. So I'm hoping it's going to work. Yeah. And then we're going to fill it with soil. I've got some of these, now they don't have exactly in Bulgaria, an edge piece. So I have to buy this kind of thing. Have a look how this will work. And this is kind of gonna like this, but if I close this shut with some thick masking tape, it'll keep closed and that'll keep the soil inside. So I'll have one on one on each of them, and then it's easy. I can either just take this off, or we can do that if I want to get the soil out, change the soil in a different year or something, or we'll change the plants. So I'm gonna get cracking on with that, and then we'll see how long it's gonna take before we start to cut. So all them I've done now, it was quite fast. I mean, it wasn't difficult just to measure all them. I, I cheated a little bit as well. I just lined them up and did it like that instead of measuring every single time. So now let's get started to cutting it. This is going to be the interesting part. What one lady suggested is that if you're doing it on your own, you put the PVC between your legs and then you put this also. So it doesn't stop jumping around. Try to get this locked in between your knees as well. So we're going to see how that works. I think twisting it around is a better idea so that I get more it's not good it's not good that's not going to work like that definitely not I don't know how they did it on thing it must have been thicker PVC so I'm gonna have to find a different solution for this now I think if I just at least mark them with this and then cut them with something else after. I think this is the only way. So honestly, that was a lot more difficult to do one piece than I actually was thinking. When I seen them doing it on the internet, it looks super easy. I don't know if this PVC is a thick, He's not thick enough, he's a lot thinner than the one they're using on, on that I've seen on the internet. Could be because it's Bulgarian, sometimes things are made for Bulgaria at a lower quality with it being Eastern Europe, so they can be cheaper. I don't know if this blade is too thick or it's the wrong blade. It says it's for PVC. It says written here, it's for PVC as well as wood, piping. So I don't think it's the blade that's uh, too strong. 
and I actually don't, I'm not sure if it's because it's too wide. I don't know, but I'm just gonna mark it now and then I'm gonna cut it afterwards with something else. So this is gonna take a little bit longer than I was expecting. I've only got to about three o'clock. They said it's gonna rain at three o'clock and it's now 12 o'clock. So I've got 70 uh, strawberry plants, plus this other eight strange strawberry plants, interesting ones. Um, I don't know, we're gonna see if I can get it done and maybe I'm gonna be planting some in the ground as well. Let's see. So I think I've come up with an ingenious idea to solve this problem that it's not cutting without breaking the things. I'm going to use a solder iron. Let's have a look. Let's have a look now. Let's take one of these and see how it goes. Oh, and it's melting through just like butter. That's great. That's absolutely great. It's not as fast. It's not as sexy. I mean, it's not going to look pretty, but I don't think that's going to affect the taste of the strawberries. So I'm not too bothered about that. Petty will have something to say though, for sure. She always wants everything to be pretty and perfect, but that's the thing. You're going to find problems. You've got to think of different ways to solve them. Careful not to breathe in the fumes. This is not good for you. This is definitely not good for you. Burning PVC. So I'm going to get doing the rest of these and I'll get back to you when I'm finished. I think that ingenious idea deserves a thumbs up. If you do too, hit that thumbs up for me. Go on. Let's get on to the next task. Right, so that's done now. Uh, they're not looking sexy, like I said. Um, you know, but that's not going to affect the things. Now we want to smooth this off a little bit. I should have some thingy, but I don't. So I'm just going to get my thick gloves. If you've got thick gloves, I can just rub it down, get all this extra plastic off, this extra PVC off. Yeah. I will try and get some thingy in the future, next time. Just try and get all this off now. It did take some time, actually, it, a lot longer than I was expecting this whole process was going to be. This thing has added a lot of time on. Luckily, it didn't, it's past three o'clock now and it didn't rain like it's meant to. Hopefully it holds off a little bit longer. So I've still got a bit of a job left to do on this. And then what I need to do is I'm going to measure down and put holes for drainage. As you can see, I've got the markers now, every 10 centimeters. Now I'm just going to line up the rest of these, make it faster like that. And this drainage is important so that the roots don't get root rot, that they don't stay too wet all the time. I mean, here in Varna, we're not getting a lot of rain during summer, but when we do, we get kind of flash floods as well. So you don't want them swimming. This is not good for the roots. Although strawberries is very important. A lot of water. A lot of water, that's why. Needs sun, but not a lot, a lot of sun. Direct sun it doesn't need. That's why in England we have amazing strawberries because it's absolutely soaking wet even in summertime and a little bit of sun. Right, so I'm gonna do with a number eight first in the, for the big one and then a number six on the small one. So I'm gonna do one eight, miss one, one eight, miss one, one eight. Now with the number six, which is considerably smaller. A 
the next task is to put this on here on it on just going to put it on the one side at the moment yeah um let's have a look best way to do this because it seems to fold into there so i want to do it the way that it's there so i can then later <coughs> What I'm going to do now after that, I'm going to take some masking tape, I'm going to lock that up, close it properly. So first we're just going to do one side because then, I mean if I wanted to I could like so, just want to put some masking tape in there. Lock it up nice. Maybe one more strip there. Put it the other direction. All it is is just to stop the soil coming out. So just gonna do the one side, then we're gonna put soil down there. So I'm going to get all the rest of these done first. Probably stick the rest so I can just pop it on afterwards and then we'll get round and start putting this soil in. We need to get these strawberries planted before the end of the day. Time's running out. I don't know if we're going to make it or not. Hey, not again. You know, we've got another issue. I need 14 of these things and I've only got 13. Well, again, we're going to have to find another solution. Let's uh, leave that till later. Now let's get all these on, you see? They're all done. So let's get them on and let's get the soil in there. So Petty wants me to do some of the strawberries also in the ground. So we're going to do it here. Yeah, and we're going to test which system is going to be the best. I'm thinking that the one in the pipes, if we manage to do it properly, it's going to be really good because we don't have to keep picking all the green stuff out, growing out the, um, all the weeds and stuff like that. So I'm going to get here now, I'm going to plant about, because we have all together about 70, 70 uh, strawberry plants. So we're going to plant maybe 20 here. Yeah, so let's get starting with that then. all this will grow very easily back so I need to get rid of as much of this as possible you see these roots are very thick like I told you before this land has never been worked before First time, just by watching on YouTube, things like that. We grew strawberries last year. They came out okay. Not a lot, but first year. But we never took care of the land afterwards. And that was the thing because nobody was here to clean. I'm trying to really get those grass roots up now. Lift up that soil, turn it over. Same time I'm digging into them grassroots, cutting them and killing them. I'm sure there's better and easier ways. If you know an easier way, please put it down in the comments. I'll have a look for that in the future. I know many different people have different styles when it 
comes to gardening, I've noticed this a lot. Everybody has their own ideas. So I'll get as much of this grass roots out. Trying to keep the soil here. These guys, these guys, you need this guys. I believe this is very good. All worms, insects, all these things are amazing for the plants and the fruit, vegetables. Yeah, I think we're quite good now. Right, I've brought everything on this side because what I need to do, I've got a little bit of, uh, this is like a fertilizer that's kind of a, kind of a fertilizer. It's good for small fruits, vegetables and fruits. So, Rid of them grass rooty things. Don't want them in there. Okay, we we'll just start filling it in. I think it's just going to be easy with my hands actually. Then we just put one of this on the end. That's one done. Fill a little bit more. And, uh, take one more. Just start filling it in. Time crisis at the moment. It's really put me behind doing this with the. I was really hoping that this cutter would just cut it out nice, but it's going to destroy them, so I had to come up with a different solution. Right, so they're all done now. Last one, I just put some masking tape on the outside just to thingy. Right, let's get these strawberries in there now. So here you've got one plant, yeah? Now, what you should do to help promote the growth, you just snip off a little bit from the bottom. Yeah? Of the roots. Yeah? Then we're gonna dig a little hole, put it in, then bring everything back on top. You wanna get them roots right down in the bottom. Yeah. I want to put some more soil on the top after anyway. Yeah, and you want to press down to get out as much air as possible. The thing. Right. Okay. Well, I'm going to speed up now and then uh, 
get to when we get to the special ones you can have a look at them as well right so i've taken some bricks and a bits of wood because i need to raise them off the ground a little bit so then that dripping system will work took some bricks from the um broken houses over there little broken houses over there so i'm going to use them and this is just a temporary solution at the moment later i'm going to do them on proper sticks and do them a little bit higher so for now i'm just going to lay the bricks out there put some wood put them on put some nails big nails into the wood there so they don't roll around so I ran out of time, I had to go and pick up Jana from the kindergarten, brought her here. I'm very pleased actually how it's all turned out. They look quite well. I've tried, to, I mean, this is only a temporary thing. I'm gonna do them stood up a little bit higher later. Now Jani is gonna water them. Are you gonna water them for us? Yeah. Heidi, strawberries need a lot of water, so don't be shy. It's very heavy, is it? I'm going to put it this little. No, 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 it's better from this that you don't. Okay, I will water a little bit and then you can do it afterwards. So. Okay. <laughs> try to get it in the holes. Yeah, don't be worried because there's a drip system at the bottom so the water, extra water will drip out so you can make sure you can really get, give them a good wet. Excuse me. Yeah, well, if you wet yourself, that's it. That's life, Shanna. It's a drag. <laughs> Let me help you with that. <laughs> See? Leo the lion, yeah? Uh, no, I don't need your help. Hey, hey, you're getting it everywhere. You're getting it everywhere. Huh? Try to get it in the holes. Right, okay, next we're gonna do it. Do, we're gonna plant some strawberries in the ground over there. So let's get to that then. So I managed to get 26 in all together, plus my three little special strawberries, two of the pine and the one of the cherry berries. Yeah. So we're gonna see in a few months, which system is better, directly in the ground in a bit of shade or out in the open in the tubes. We're gonna see which is gonna grow better in a few months. So if you wanna see that, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And I'll see what our next mission is in the next few days. Look forward to seeing you there.